Hi guys, it's Cory here. I get a lot of questions about how I shape my nails since I always have natural nails and I don't use tips or anything. So I thought I'd do a quick video since I was changing my shape from kind of a tapered square to more of an almond slash short stiletto. So as you can see, I alternate side to side as I file and I'm using the coarse side of my nail file. I do, when I change my shape, um, I do so with my color on top of my peel base. I don't know why. It's easier for me. I think because my nails kind of grow a little crooked. <laughs> so if I have color on, it helps me see how I want them to be shaped and not how they grow naturally. So I can adjust and make them look like they're straight on my fingers, even though they're not. Another helpful hint especially when you're doing pointy tips or even if you're doing rounded tips is to find your center point. So I will mark it with a Sharpie and you can see as I um, drew on there with a Sharpie, I started from the center of my cuticle and then kind of marked my place. And, and I use that just as a visual reference as I'm filing from side to side. I decided to leave the first nail um, real time so you can kind of get a sense for how long it takes me. I don't own a drill, so I just use my file, but I wanted to, to kind of show just how long it takes me when I, when I do change out my shape. Once I get the shape close enough to where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and remove my color. I use peel base. I actually just use straight up Elmer's glue <laughs> over top of... Um, dip powder. I, I keep a base of clear dip powder with a top coat on and then uh, a layer of Elmer's glue and then I do my mani on top of that. So once I remove my color then I go back in and just make sure that my natural nail shape is where I want it. Um, you can see I use my fingers to dust off any of the excess powder so I can really get a good look at what the shape looks like. Don't forget um, to kind of move back on your sidewalls. If you have wonky shaped fingernails like I do, <laughs> you will have to adjust that sidewall a smidge. Be careful. You don't want to get too aggressive because you can actually cause ingrown nails and all sorts of damage. Um, but I do because my nails naturally grow as more of a flare shape. I do have to go in and, and adjust that and go back um, a little bit back behind my free edge, if you will. I do want to point out when I'm shaping, I always make my tip sharper or pointier than how I want it to be with my Manny. And that's because once you add layers of dip powder, they will be thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and show you on another nail how I do it, but this time I will speed it up because it's boring to watch someone file their nails for several minutes in a row. Um, but just to give you another um, point of reference at, at how I get the shape going from a tapered square to more of an almond slash stiletto. They're not full stilettos because I work with horses and I can't have my nails really long or I will destroy them and nobody wants to cracked bloody fingernail that's never fun <laughs> so this is about as long as I'll wear them um, but I do like to switch it up from time to time and um, I get bored with square and then I go to my almond stilettos and then I get bored with those and I go back to square um, I'll try to remember in a few months when I do get bored with these and go back to square I'll try to remember to do a video of that because obviously the technique is slightly different going from pointy to flat um, so you can look for that, maybe, if I remember to do it. Here's the final product of my 
newly shaped almonds. I hope you'll check me out on Instagram to see what Manny I do on top of them.